Hey guys, uh, so yesterday I uh, showed off a little video uh, of this turret being animated and that was done by hand and so like even the recoil effect was all animated by hand. Um, today uh, I'm showing off uh, kind of an automated feature a little bit and uh, this is just kind of in the lead up to the, uh, the live stream I'm going to do hopefully Saturday. I still think it's Saturday. It may not be Saturday, it may be Sunday, but... Um, I just wanted to put that out there before I went further that the, the time might change. Um, not much I can do to control it. I'm just looking for the time when the house is empty so that I don't have a lot of extra noise and stuff. Um, but if I go ahead and click simulate, you can see that the uh, turret is automatically wherever I move it to uh, in its position. Um, literally will just point and shoot at that, um, at that first ship. However, I have it set up so that I can just kind of tell it to target something else. And so theoretically, if I have multiple of these turrets in the scene, and I have multiple spaceships in the scene, uh, I can have you know one group of turrets uh, targeting one ship and another group of turrets targeting a different ship. Um, I'll eventually add a little bit of variance uh, into what it's shooting, uh, probably not for the cinematic because it's not really, you know, for this weekend because it's not really that big of a deal. But you know, I, you know, add like a little bit of random rotation uh, in there, so like each shot will fire in a slightly different uh, vector. But um, I just wanted to show that off. Um, I could kind of show where the code is at. Uh, a lot of this stuff is going to be subject to change, though. So right now, here's all the different uh, pieces of logic for. Uh, the turret. Um, I don't expect anyone to really know what's going on and this is kind of a temporary mess right here but uh, basically what's happening and as soon as I click simulate uh, this event starts firing off and will um, keep firing every 0.3 seconds uh, which is the length of the uh, animation that I set um, for the recoil. Um, and I can change the amount that it's off that the recoil offsets because uh, this is just uh, spitting out a zero to one value, and then I'm multiplying that value to be able to dynamically change how much it recoils, so I can dial it in whatever I want, um, and uh, and whatnot. And so a uh, similar thing happening for the um, uh, if you remember yesterday's animation, the turret lifted up a little bit on its stand before it started rotating and firing and stuff. Uh, that's what this does, and then I'm um, also firing off a uh, a determination whether or not the um, uh, the turret should be able to fire automatically or not. Um, and so I'll be able to fire off events from sequencer to activate the turret. When it activates, it will do the uh, lift up thing, so I can literally uh, tell. Um, and I'll go over some of this code and how it works when I do the live stream, but I can individually fire off an event to activate each turret so that I can stagger that. So say I have a shot where you can see several turrets in the scene, and I can have them all kind of go beep, 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 you know, lift up all on their own time as opposed to doing it all exactly at the same time, although that probably would have its own type of... Uh, uh, interesting look to it as well, but I don't like that purely exact mechanical thing. I like to be able to offset stuff. So, uh, and this is just the logic here of finding the um, uh, the target um, the target actor and the um, the uh, position of the uh, the turret body and the uh, the gun barrel uh, parent there. Um, so that they will always point in the direction of the selected target. And I should be able to dynamically change that in Sequencer. The problem is, um, right now, is that if I do that, as opposed to like kind of gradually turning towds uh, the new target, they'll s it'll just snap to over one frame. And that's not really ideal for an animation. Um, eventually I'll resolve all these issues and that kind of stuff. And if I like turn the base of the turret at all, it all also will look a little weird. So at least for this weekend, it's likely everything's just going to be a kind of like um, 
kind of in a regular kind of up and down as if these things were just placed on the ground as opposed to uh, like rotating on asteroids and stuff like that, which I kind of wanted to do, but I, I don't think I'll be able to solve those problems in time, but we'll see. I still got other things I got to be working on too, so um, that type of uh, solution is um, uh, fleeting for now. Uh, I think I kind of sort of know how to make it work, but I have to do some research to uh, see if anyone else has already solved this problem and uh, then therefore posted about it. Um, if not, then I will hopefully eventually figure out and then put that out there. But um, I don't know how many people have like wanted to do like zero G turrets and stuff like that. Um, another way to f resolve that would literally be to uh, change uh, uh, exactly how the art looked. Um, and that's a possibility, but that would require me to do more modeling and texturing. and. I kind of hit the limit of what I can do for this weekend, so, um, uh, that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much where I'm at, and, uh, I will, uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.